everyone, welcome back to my channel. I got a bit of a haul here, mostly from uh, Winners, which is TJ Maxx in the States. Um, and there's a few things from Sephora, Dollarama, that sort of thing. Just stuff collected over the past couple weeks, which is kind of piling up here, so I just wanted to do a video to put stuff away. Um, so I'll start with uh, Winners. Uh, I did buy this uh, Dr. Woods um, Almond Castile Soap. I have um, bought a lot of Castile Soap uh, from this Dr. Jacobs company from Winners. Um, this one is in Sweet Tea Tree, which is a just a wonderful scent. Um, this one is in Almond. I just love that sweet almond scent. And the, uh, pro, uh, the ingredients are very basic in these Castile soaps. Um, there's just basically water, uh, coconut, and olive oil, vitamin E, um, fragrance, sea salt, citric acid, rosemary extract. Um, they're very simple. There's not, no fancy ingredients in here. Um, if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to grab one of these bottles um, because with Castile soap, you can, I use it mostly for shaving my legs, but you can use it for um, uh, shampoo, body wash, uh, washing clothes, washing dishes. So I'm going to throw these in one of my backpack if um, an outbreak ever happens. Um, I also got at Winners, this is what the box looks like. It's vitamin C. It's a serum concentrate. You get 90 mils or 3 fluid ounces for $10, which is a pretty good price. Um, vitamin C is a little bit unstable with light, so they always put it in like a opaque uh, bottle. And this is glass with a little stopper. And uh, it's it's not a liquid. It's, it's like a very um, kind of a thin lotion. And vitamin C is good for uh, brightening the skin. And also it... Um, reduces the appearance of dark spots and discoloration. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got some age spots just because I had so much sun when I was little. Basically, um, until I was in my mid-twenties, I basically lived outside. Um, I didn't wear enough sun sunscreen. So hopefully this will fade some of those spots a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put this under my foundation. I've used it a couple times. It does absorb quite nicely. It doesn't leave an oily film or anything like that. And um, oh, I just got this uh, these napkins, certified beer tester. It's not just a job, it's a passion. Um, I don't like be the taste of beer. I've never been able to, to handle it. Uh, I think it tastes like deer piss. That's what I say. I've never tasted deer piss, but if it had a taste, it would be the beer. Um, anyway, uh, when Frank's friends are over, I can throw one of these. Um, I got some of these uh, nail HQ um, nail treatments. Uh, they're made in the UK. Uh, the one is uh, Argan Oil. And this one, it's a uh, moisture balance uh, to prevent brittleness and breakage. Uh, it moisturizes, conditions, and strengthens. And then I got this base coat. And this one, a unique rubberized base coat uh, to assist in the adhesion of nail enamel. It's sticky cushion finish, prepares the nail for optimum color and application, and it prevents staining and discoloration. And this is um, a gel top coat, and uh, this protects against chipping and, ex and extends the wear. Ultra glossy with optical brighteners and that, so going to give those a try. Um, this is a Physician's Formula Mascara. I've tried a lot of Physician's Formula uh, products. Um, they're a little bit on the more expensive side, drugstore wise, um, but they're, I really do like their products, so I always wait for a sale. Um, but I found this at Winners. It's two mascaras and it's the organic wear and this is um, sweat proof um, water resistant but it does wash off with soap and water so you get two mascaras for six dollars or three dollars each so I thought that was a very good price um, hopefully it'll be a decent mascara and 
Uh, I've been tr uh, trying out this um, new beauty tool, um, a makeup brush. Um, I've seen this on YouTube quite a bit and it's gotten very good reviews. Uh, I usually use my Real Techniques dampened sponge to put on mass um, foundation. It doesn't leave any streaks or look cakey. It makes the foundation look quite natural. But a lot of be people have been using um, these very dense brushes. They're very, very soft, but they're very dense. Uh, it's great for putting on foundation or BB cream. It's very quick. You just dot on the foundation and then you just rub it in very quickly. Um, it just takes less than a minute to put the foundation on. It doesn't absorb the product. When I'm done putting the foundation on, when you look at the brush, it doesn't have any foundation on it, it so it doesn't soak up any extra of, um, of the product. Um, it's very soft. The bristles are very, very dense. Um, this one was $12.99. There was one with a smaller head that was $9.99. Um, it's a little bit flexible. I wouldn't want to push too hard. Um, I wish the handle was a bit longer. You can find these on Amazon.ca. Uh, you get like five for like $20 or something like that. So um, you probably get them a little bit cheaper on Amazon.ca. But I've tried this a uh, few times and I really, really like it. When I'm in a rush, it is just so quick. And um, it doesn't leave any streaks. It doesn't look cakey. It looks it makes the foundation look quite natural. So, and um, I've been trying to find a, uh, a makeup remover that removes waterproof mascara. A lot of the removers claim they do, but you have to rub and rub and use a lot. Um, but I've tried this uh, Marcel. And it's a Canadian company. It's the makeup remover, and specifically for like um, waterproof uh, mascara and that. And it works very, very well. Um, you don't need to rub too hard. It just comes off much easier than any makeup remover waterproof that I've, I've used. Um, I've shaken it up already, but usually it's. Um, this part's blue and this part's white and you just shake it up to make the solution and then you apply it. But um, I think this was $10 and you get a 33% bonus. Um, uh, so that's a very good price for this one compared to in the stores. And uh, to jump out of the beauty stuff, I got uh, these ones I've bought in a few times. It's the Sticky Fingers Bakery Scones and this one is in the flavor Vanilla Chai. Um, there's numerous different um, flavors that you can get. I haven't tried the vanilla chai yet, um, but these are really good. All you do is add water, basically, so it's it's quick. And uh, I just love throwing butter on these when they come from the oven. It just uh, tastes so good. So uh, I think is, uh, that's it, I think, for winners. Oh, no, there's one more thing. Um, they had this L'Oreal um, pack. Uh, you get three different pack, um, three different products for ten dollars. There's the um, million dollar lashes. Uh, there's a, kind of a dark red uh, nail polish, and then there's the L'Oreal Color Riche lip gloss, and that's also a kind of a dark red color. L'Oreal is one of the more expensive drugstore brands, so to get three products for ten dollars is um, pretty good. And oh, I, I got a package of these a while ago and I really do like them. They're the Dirty Work Stay Cool Cucumber Eye Pads and they're pre-moistened. Um, you get 10 pads uh, or um, 10 pairs of eye pads for five or six dollars. I keep these in the fridge and uh, when my eyes are very puffy, which they usually are, um, I just put these on and uh, leave them on for five or ten minutes and it just kind of soothes and decreases the puffiness of the eyes. And there's these little mini blenders. Um, I, I'm using the other one right now, but there's four of them for I think eight dollars. Um, they're very soft. Um, 
they double in size when they're wet and I just mostly use those for um, kind of blending in the concealer around my eyes and I think that's it for winners now um, yeah, next, this I got in um, either Fire and Plus or Real um, Shoppers carries NYX brand. It's the eyeshadow base and it's white. Um, most of the ones I use are kind of like the flesh tones, um, but I got white because it kind of helps the shadow colors pop a little bit. Um, some of the colors also change a little bit because of the white base, so you kind of have to uh, play around a bit, but. Um, it does kind of help uh, brighten up some of the eye colors. At Dollarama, there was a L'Oreal Evercreme Intense Nourishing Moisturizer. I have tried this brand of L'Oreal um, Evercreme before, and I really do like this um, their, this line. Um, you get a 30% bonus. <clears throat> Uh, and it's just $4 for um, 11 ounces, so you get quite a bit. Um, a little goes a long way. I've used it a couple of times. It's a very, very thick cream, so you, uh, a little goes a long way. So this will last quite a while, and it was just $4, so um, that was a very good deal. And um, at the Real Canadian Superstore, it's this Korean moisture um, conditioner for hair and uh, it's for dry brittle hair and it's supposed to be 30 percent more moisturizing four times smoother texture um, lost hair protein restoration it's really quite good if you have really dry hair or if you have um, uh, hair that really gets tangled or cur really curly hair um, this detangles really well um, it's got a, an amazing smell and um, I think this it was eight dollars and I think you get 600 mils so it's you get quite a bit it's a very good price and I really really like this conditioner and then last is um, from Sephora um, they had the Becca highlighters they're very expensive the um, the usual size are, are quite expensive so I got this little travel pack I think it was like twenty five dollars and they're an opal and uh, I got so much makeup now I went kind of overboard so it's going to take me forever to get through this because I got all these other highlighters I'm using up so um, this is a very pretty it's like uh, you're not going to be able to see this but it's it's kind of a champagne color and it is just an absolutely beautiful highlighter and then this is the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and it's got a little applicator and uh, this one I just kind of put on all over under my foundation or I kind of mix it with the foundation and it just is just a beautiful beautiful uh, kind of glow um, so uh, it's a nice option if you don't want to pay the full price for the, the full size one of these because they're very expensive uh, but it is a beautiful product so anyway I think that's it now I can finally put the stuff away um, yeah so I'm gonna go and finish watching the Toronto Raptors they're beating the Cleveland Cavaliers right now but LeBron James isn't playing but anyway um, so that's it uh, for kind of my beauty haul I guess and um, so everyone have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you soon and take care bye bye